Hello, RPG Don here. Today, we're going to discuss three things about shops. Where to make your shop, how to make the items for your shop, and how to make your shop. There are typically three spots to make your shop. The overworld map, outside, and inside, usually in a town or a cabin in the woods. Once you decide where you want to make your shop, we'll make our items. Go into our database cogwheel, item, Change the maximum to have enough room for your items. Double click a row, name, image, description, what you want your item to do, and the standard price of your item. Once you have your items, and you know where you want your store, on the event mode, you'll double click the square you want your store, choose an image, double click your first black diamond, tab 3, shop processing, double click a row, find your item, then choose standard price, if you want this store to sell the item for the price you specified in the database, or choose specify, so you can change the price that this particular store will sell that particular item. You can then decide if this store will allow your player to sell items back to them or not. Checking the purchase only box will make it so that this store only sells items, but will not allow your player to sell them items. Once you have this, you can click OK. Make sure your priority is same as character and the trigger is on action button. Currently, this NPC will open a store when your player talks to them. We can make it so this NPC will talk to your player before and after they open up the shop by inputting text before and after the shop processing command. We'll double click our shop black diamond, tab one, show text, and input our image and text. We will do the same after our shop so that our NPC will talk to our player after they are done buying things. We can now test our game. Always remember to save your changes before testing. We have our NPC, and when we talk to them, they say our text, sell our items, and when we leave the shop, they say their final message. We can even make an NPC have a hidden shop when your players have a certain item in your inventory. We do this by first making our secret item. Go into our database cogwheel, items, name your secret item, image and description, for this tutorial, we will name it Secret Store Key. You can then apply an OK. Once you have your store key, we will go back to our NPC, double click our first black diamond, make a conditional branch, tab 4, item, your secret item, in our case Secret Store Key, then we will check the box to create an else branch. When you have that, you click OK. Under the black diamond on our conditional branch, we will double click it, tab 1, and show choices. We will make choices to ask our player if they want to show the NPC the key or not. This will allow our player to decide which store they want to go to. When we have this, we'll click OK. We will then copy our regular store, text and shop processing, under Don't Show Key. Make sure you copy each line to Don't Show Key. We will then delete the original. Under Show Key, we will show text, having our NPC respond and acknowledging that they have the secret item for their secret shop. Under our text, we will make a new shop by going to tab 3, shop processing, and inputting whatever items we want to be sold in our secret shop. Then choose our price. We will then copy each option under don't show key, our original store, into our else branch. This will make it so that if our player doesn't have the secret key, they will automatically be brought to the regular shop. We can then apply an OK and test our game. Always remember to save your changes before testing. I've made a chest with our key, so we can test out our shops. First we will talk to our store, and receive the regular messages of the regular store. I will then grab my key, and talk to our store once again. We are then given our options to show the key or don't show the key. When we don't show the key, we get our regular store. And when we do show the key, we get our secret store with our different items. If you want the NPC to recognize your character once the secret item has been shown, we will go back to our store, create a new event page, under show key, click the first black diamond, create a switch, name it something like key shown, apply an OK, and have it set to on. Then under our second page, we will set the conditions to switch and our key shown switch. We will input some text with our NPC, where we have the NPC ask 
which store our player wants to access. Under our text, we'll click the black diamond, tap 1, show choices, and ask which store our player wants to see. We will then go back to our first tab, copy our regular store, and paste it under the normal option, then go to our hidden store, copy, and paste it under our hidden option. Then under each option, we will input our text where our NPC says goodbye to our player. Once we put our farewell text under both options, we will apply an OK and test our game. This time, when we get our key, we can speak to our NPC, don't show the key, and talking to them again will give us the same options. If we show the key, we will get our first hidden store text, and then upon talking to them again, our NPC will remember the player and simply ask them which store they would like to access. That's it for this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of a tutorial I should make, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.